Hello everyone! Exodus here! Super! Ah! Strike that! Because I can with the creator of this game. I am stupor excited! That's that's super and stupid. I'm my brain is stupid and my heart is super. Or my brain is super and my heart is stupid. Either way! I am super excited to be playing finally! Red Mouse Games very first game. Number one! Actually, that's two ones. That makes two. Number one game. Actually, what you do is half. Half fingers. Is there such a thing as a half? I'm shaking. I drank too much coffee. We're going to go with half. Those are halves. So, first game. That's, you know, half plus half is one. First game. I'm terrible. Damn, Daniel. Here we are. Finally. I've been waiting for it. I've been excited for it. Mainly done by Red Mouse Games. Let's see what she's got up her sleeve for us. Okay, grabbing my controller. And yes, you can use the controller on this game. Most excellent. What do we got? We got the in. That controller. Holy crap, look at that. It glows. What did I do? What did I do? How'd you go? Holy crap, it glows. Sorry. Back to the game. Nice little quaint town. There's a crow scare. We like crow scares. 60 FPS, I'm having to use display capture, which is usually a lot rougher on the you know, recording, but guess what? Looking good. It's a kitty! Okay. Item, so we're at the item store. Ah, here we go! So, remember, game's called Damn Daniel, and here we got ourselves a Daniel. There we go, just add a little gristle root. And, <laughs> whoops, fucking hell, not again. Uh-oh, Daniel lets out a deep, exacerbated sigh. Exacerbated, eh, I was right. You don't read that word off, that's a good word. What the hell am I doing wrong? I need to get this potion made before Mr. Grimsby gets here, or I'll surely lose another customer. Let me guess, are you Mr. Grimsby? Mr. Grimsby, I wasn't expecting you till noon. Daniel, it's 9 p.m. I was going to apologize for running late, but, but, but what? Fuck my life. I must have lost track of time. I've been working on your potion all day. Are you saying that it isn't finished yet, Daniel? Because if that's the case, my apologies, sir, but it's not the easiest potion to concoct. I ran out of gristle root and I had to travel to Grissingham Forest to scavenge for more. Then when I got back, I realized I was out of talon powder, so I had to hunt a great eagle in the mountains. When I started brewing the potion, I realized I must have misread the ingredients, and I don't want excuses, Daniel. I want results. Yes, Mr. Grimsby, my apologies. I will have the potion ready for you by tomorrow afternoon. You have my word. Do we, Daniel? Damn it! Haha, <laughs> I knew I'd slip that in there. Your word would have been ample if you had finished the potion on time as requested. I'm sorry, but I will not wait any longer. Uh oh. Please, Mr. Grinsby, there must be something I can do. I assure you, I can have it done if you just give me a little more. Nonsense! I've waited long enough. You showed up late, butthole. What do you mean you've waited? Obviously, it's not that important if you're gonna sit there and give the poor guy some shit. I mean, come on, think about it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm griping. This guy's a dick. You've had plenty of time and still failed to produce what was asked of you. You showed up late. So you know what? Because you showed up late, the potion went bad and I had to make a fresh one and it went wrong. How do you like that for a response? Bitch. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Now, I will be taking my business elsewhere. Good, I hope they pee in your potion. Hmm. Perhaps I will go to Ryle's Alchemic Emporium. Uh oh, that must be like a... Nathan Riles is a madman who couldn't concoct a simple healing elixir if his life depended on it. Well, apparently, neither can you. Good day, Daniel. Ow, what a dick. Please, Mr. Grimsby, I urge you to recon... I said good day. Oh, well, nothing seems to be going right lately. I haven't made a sale in weeks, and I'm going to lose everything if I can't find a way to turn my business around. Oh, yeah, that's a plight that a lot of business owners share. I don't even want to think about going back to trapping and tanning for a few measly coins. I mean, that is the life, you know, you don't got another dude and spend your time out in nature. Then again, it's better than nothing. No, 
No, I couldn't. You couldn't what? That's my father's life, not mine. Fair enough, I... Daniel and I relate there. I, as much as I hate to say it, you know, I have nothing but love and respect and admiration for my father, but living your father's life is not living your life. Back to the story. I could use a stiff drink right about now. I think I'll close up shop and head down to the Ram and Stein pub. You know what? I think I'll have a stiff drink too. No. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't stir my coffee with boners. Ha <laughs> ha! Stiff drink. I made another penis joke and it's only the beginning. When you see the sparkles and hear the chime, you can move Daniel. On your keyboard, you can use the WASD keys. Blow that out your butt. Use the enter or space button to interact. No, screw you. Use, no. Go to options, keyboard, and select, okay. No. You can also use a controller. Thank you. But you must have it plugged in. No shit. Oh, we're good. I, we're good. I, I always thought you didn't, the plug-in was just superficial. I never did that before. Oh. Uh. You can keep track of your progress in the story by looking at the quest journal. A quest journal. Objectives marked with white. The, the, we'll go with the white. I'm sure these go... Our parents' parents had them, but... Remember the paper that had the little round candies on them and you ripped them off and you eat it and you spit out a little tiny piece of paper because it stick to the little sugar candy? It was just sh colored sugar? That's what those little balls look like. I'm getting off topic again. Objects marked with the blue candy have been completed. Okay, so white candy we need to do, blue candy, no. Excellent. I know, I'm a fat kid at heart. I, actually, I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts, and it got shrunk in the wash, so my man boobs are more prominent. I swear, I'm not trying to sell games with sex, but buy the game. I, 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 I'm being awkward now. There are many things to find around the world. Explore, you may be rewarded. Holy crap, see, I turned on... Um, crack mode, AKA dash, dash is held down. I'm totally going brain dead. A mixing apparatus along with various test tubes and beakers rest upon the table. Everything an alchemist needs. So I can say the same thing. A sterilizing burner sits on the table. Oh please, if this is like metal as fuck, where I get to interact with like everything, like can I walk up here and be like, hey, what do we got in here? The cauldron is filled with the smoldering remains of Daniel's last alchemy attempt. What a waste. I'm sorry, man. Man, all my clothes have seen better dates. But I need a coin for new stuff. That just isn't on the cards right now. I feel you, man. I'm wearing clothes from high school. 12, 13 years ago. Whoa. The barrel is full of shiny green peppers. So he likes peppers. I don't need these peppers right now. Maybe I can sell them if I get really desperate for coin. Boxes on the shelf contain powders and herbs of all different colors. Y'all know I'm going to explore everything. Daniel opens up a box and takes a look inside. There is a fat wooden rod inside with what looks like a mushroom cap on the end. Oh, there's my pestle. I should keep it next to my mortar. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to stir my coffee with. I That, that would make a stiff, stiff drink. Oh my God. So... If you're new to my channel, you're checking it out, and I'm not recording with my son, chances are the maturity thing is on, and nine chances out of ten, I'm probably five or six penis jokes into the recording. I apologize for nothing. Ha! Oh, the shelves are lined with jars and vials, filled with all kinds of potions, creams, and ingredients. It rubs the lotion on the skin. A basket full of beautiful apples sits on the table. At least they're not rotten. Emma was so nice to give me these. If she hadn't, I would be starving. I'll grab one of these, just in case I need a snack. I got a juicy apple. Oh, baby. I like them juicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. The stove top is grimy and needs a good clean. I licked my lips way too seductively over that apple. My bad. Yeah, you need to clean, buddy. I really need to clean this thing before I even attempt to cook. Otherwise, I'm going to get sick. Well, the fire will burn it. I need money to buy food, so... You poor, poor bastard. The utensils hanging above the cook's uh, cooktop are rusty, so he don't do crap. The cabinet is full of dusty dishes. The cabinet is full of dusty dishes. Next! What's upstairs? I really need to clean up around here. Yeah, you're a slob. As I look around my room, there's clothes laying everywhere. You know what? Judge not want not. Ah, 
Wait, is that the phrase? Judge not, want not? Wait, what? I'm just making shit up now. A stack of my old alchemy books. All my alchemy books. I love getting books. Wait, I'm just... No, now it's not going to say it. I, I screwed up. Oh, I'd really like to just lay here and forget about the world, but getting out of the shop will probably do me some good. That means I got to deal with the real world. The blue, blue. That means I got to deal with the real world. Okay, this will continue the story. Do you want to leave now? Yeah. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Okay, so you get a... You get a confirm. You know, uh, my nose is running. I'm going to drink more coffee. You get to confirm on whether or not you want to continue the story. You can make sure and look around. Like, I like to click everything. You're not living your life in one of these kind of games if you're not clicking everything. Let's go, Daniel. Damn it. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. So why is he going to the... Okay. He's poor. I, I, I feel... He's going to the bar to drink. I feel I got my own bad habits, but jeez. Holy crap, is that Quiverdick? Is that Granny? Oh my god, is that, oh my god. Please, please, please. Hey, Daniel, Whiskey Dick. I get it. What can I get for you tonight? I think I get it. I don't know, a lot of things can mean Whiskey Dick. <laughs> oh my. Got anything strong enough to put down a mule? Sounds like you could use a Ramenstein special. Make it a double. Rough night? Rough month, more like it. The bartender puts a large glass in front of Daniel, takes a bottle from under the counter, and fills the glass up to the brim. He nudges it towards Daniel and nods. Daniel lifts the glass up and nods back to the bartender. He has the drink back with a stinging grimace and slams the glass down onto the hard wooden bar top. Woo! That hit the spot. What's got you down, pal? Ever since I left home and came to Cragdale, I've hit hurdle after hurdle, trying to get my business off the ground. Fair enough. I've done nothing but struggle since I've opened my shop. This was supposed to be a better life for me, not a more difficult one. Perhaps alchemy just isn't for you, Daniel. That piano, though. Rubbish. It's my passion. Plus, even if it wasn't, I can't go back to working for my father. I'll never be the husband he expects me to be. I feel you, Daniel. I, God, I relate so much to that. I, I, you try, but it's just, it's so hard to keep trying. I don't know, man. I've seen your marksmanship. You aren't half bad. My level of skill is irrelevant. I'll never live up to the expectations of my father. No one ever does. That's just how dads are, you know. I hear ya. I just need to figure out how to make some extra coin this month so I don't lose my shop. Uh-oh. Hey, Daniel. I hear you need some of those shiny, clinky metal things. They're called gold pieces, David. And yes, I do. Yeah, gold pieces, that's them. Somebody's a little bit wasted. David sloppily leans over the bar towards Daniel. So he's kind of got the, I'm freaking wasted. I think I can help you out. Okay, all right, I'm all ears. You're gonna listen to a drunk. Well, that's not true. You've got arms and legs and a torso. And a nose and eyes and probably a pingus. Um, three, four. I don't know. I'm losing track of penis jokes already. It's an expression, David. David lifts his drink up towards the bartender and winks. God, it's been a long time since I drank like that. Ah, gotcha. Well, anyways, I've got a proposition for you. I'm listening. Yeah? How about you and I go back to your place and I'll give you a little sucky sucky action for 20 of them gold pieces you were talking about. That, that, even the bartender's like, WTF? First of all, absolutely not. Sucky, sucky. I, I always thought, oh, woo. Second of all, how does that help me obtain coin in any way? That's literally the opposite of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. But my bad, Daniel. <coughs> Apologies. I've just clearing my throat a little bit and thinking, geez, I need to go to the bar more. Ah! Mm. Go home, Dave. You've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Dude, you're offering BJ's for 20 gold coin. What the hell? 
I'll admit, this is a twist I didn't expect. Whoa, where did everyone go? What happened to the lights? And why did Mr. Piano Man stop playing? Dark figure. Uh-oh, that guy don't look happy. Hello, Daniel. God, the first thing that came to my mind! I had a flashback to when I was a child and swinging my little sword as Kid Link as much as I can at those stupid... And they tell you the time? What are those things called? Something stones. Mystery stones. Mystical stones. Um... I can make a testicle joke, but I think I'll let the stones handle it for themselves. All right, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Yeah, what? Well, I'm, I'm going to be referenced as the penis joke, man. This is all Crankage Games' fault. I'm telling you now, the hunt for the per perfect dick joke will happen. Whoa, this stuff is strong. I think I'm hallucinating. Tripping a little bit of balls. You aren't hallucinating, Daniel. I am very much real. I've come to speak with you about your troubles. Who are you? I'm your new best friend, Daniel. I've heard your cries for help at night. I've watched as you struggled in vain. I've come to bring you a gift that will surely aid you in your endeavors. A gift? Yes. Take this. The dark figure reaches inside his cloak and presents a menacing looking tome. Oh god, it's made with the foreskins of a thousand undying children or something. I don't know. That looks like it's made out of foreskins. Uh, Daniel reaches out and grasps the sinister looking book. Okay, it can be made out of regular skin, but I'm on a streak here with the penis references. What? The cover is all squishy. What's this thing made out of? Human skin. Necronomicon. Nice. That's not creepy at all. Actually, they used to do that. They used to use the skin of, like, if you're dead one, uh, you're dead one. If your loved one made dead. <clears throat> I am a dick! If your loved ones passed away, people would use their skin for books and stuff. It was weird. It was weird times. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Written on the pages inside this book, you will find everything you need to turn your life right side up once and for all. I think I saw that on Oddities. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm enjoying the story so far. You know me. I like to... I'm here. It, it, it's me and the game. Me and you. You and me. You and the game. I'm trying to make it all one big happy circle. So we're all holding hands and enjoying the game together as a big couple. That sounds so kinky and awesome. So, I know there's an expression that says something along the lines of Never look a gift horse in the mouth. You know, I've heard that before. And when you do look at gift horse in the mouth, you know what happens? Nothing. They neigh at you. They do that lip thing. The lip comes up. I can't do it, but you know, the horse lip comes up. Like when you smell a bad fart and your lip curls, horses do that, yeah. But there's... <laughs> but there's... No, sorry. Gotta wet my whistle. But there's got to be some special clause that makes exceptions for situations that involve a mysterious stranger giving someone a book made of in, made entirely of human skin. I'm reading like shit. Sorry. With that being said, how can I trust you, and why would you help me? Thank you, Daniel, for bringing us back to the story. The dark figure looks at Daniel. A malignant grin creeping over his face. Malignant. I said that right. I've been reading like crap, so I'm proud. What? What choice do you have, Daniel? I don't like seeing hard-working folks like yourself struggle as they attempt to follow their dreams. I've seen far too many good souls fail. I'd like to see one succeed once in a while. Dude's called a dark figure. And he... I've watched so many people fail, and I don't want you to succeed. This is freaking weird. I like it. I like it. I like weird. Because I'm weird. Now, is everything back to normal? Holy shit. What a trip. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? Thank you. See, that's what I love. The Crankage did it. Red Mouse, good on ya. What the, you know, even the characters speak what I'm feeling like. WTF, Mike. Okay. David, this is the third time tonight that you've offered to suck someone's junk for money. <laughs> and we're back to the penises. And on top of that, your price keeps dropping. Whoa. What can I say? I'm a good Samaritan. You're something all right. 
got to get back to the shop and see what's in this book. Thanks for the drink. I'm out for the night. Take care, Daniel. Keep your chin up. I'm sure things will turn around soon enough. Always keep your chin up. All of you. Don't let the bad times get you down. Because they're only temporary. Life is forever. And then you die. Live it. I hope you're right. I really do. Oh, you know what that means, right? Okay, let's talk to you. You sure you want to skip my offer? Just 10 gold. Now it's down to 10. Now I... You've got 10 gold pieces. 10 gold pieces will get you happy. I don't want any more alcohol. i got to see what's in this book. All right, well then. Holly, I love this place. Everyone is so friendly. She's kind of adorable. It would be fun. Elsa. It would be fine if it wasn't full of old people. If I wanted to be around a bunch of corpses, I'd go to a cemetery. At least it would be quiet there. Fair enough. Oh, you are silly. Old people are sweet. That guy over there keeps winking at me. He's so friendly. That's gotta be Old Man Quiver. Ooh, I got experience. Nice! Oh my god, I'm already falling in love with this game. I hate public spaces. There's too many people. It's creepy. It's so lively and fun being around people. Those old people over there are freaking me out. Old people are so cute, though. Look at them cute old couples sitting together eating, drinking. It's so sweet. I'm so scared to talk to them. I don't know why the lady keeps licking her lips, though. The old guy keeps waving a cup at me. It's so weird. Granny wants to cook him. Quiver Dick wants to dick him. I got I'm level two. I've got nothing more to say there. It covers itself. Window, barrels. A barrel's full of alcohol are stacked in the corner. The lid of each barrel has a picture of a ram's head on a stein. I bet you it's going to say the same thing. No, I'm saving... I I don't know. I don't. But I'm going to go on the assumption of saving the best for last, and I think those two are going to be good. Just some flowers and plant, and plant pots. Nothing interesting. I'm learning a valuable lesson right now. Don't drink coffee while recording. Because I really want to... Just let it rip. You know, I got all this air. What? I'm talking a lot of steam. What? There is something shiny between the pots. Yes! We just got two blowjobs! Today is looking brighter and brighter. Dude, that's two BJs. Just some flowers and plant pots. Nothing interesting. Fuck this, homie. The pianist doesn't notice Daniel and continues to play. Yeah. I actually almost made a penis joke without talking about a penis. Tell me that isn't amazing. Old man quiver. Oh, it's Joe. Would you just look at that pair over there? Okay. What pair are you referring to, sir? Those girls over there sitting at that table. So young. So soft. So supple. And nimble. Hmm. La -la -la -la. I, I'd like to see what the two of them can do with one... C oh! 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 I'm not gonna be able to. Oh! 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 You ever get one of those feelings where you wanted a chocolate sundae with extra peanuts? It's one of those moments. Oh! I'm the worst! Like they would want anything to do with your withered old carcass. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on a limb and say they're references. They're not old man Quiver and his wife. God dang it, Granny. I can't remember. All I can remember is her. Vagina is a, uh, a spider dwelling. Her vagina is a spider dwelling. Okay, they've been giving me the eyes, I tell you. Don't count me out of the race yet, you old hag. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Giving you the eyes. The why is that coffin dodger looking at me so creepily? <laughs> the coffin dodger. Besides, you don't even have enough blood pumping around that old sack of bones. You call a buddy to fill a teaspoon, let alone fill the one and only useful part of you, Joe. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! God! Wow! I'll show you, Mavis. You'll see. Of course you will, dear. Of course you will. Wow! I really should be going. Woo! That was fire! Okay, what do we got from her? Uh-oh. Say, I overheard you talking up at the bar a few minutes ago. 
I may have a little proposition for you, if you're keen. Oh god, no. What? Oh, uh, well, what would it entail exactly? Saves me the trouble of having to go near that old dust cave. Spider dwelling. Oh. Uh, I'll take my teeth out. You can take your teeth out, and we'll have a night you'll remember for the rest of your life! No! Oh, it's like that old baby cow joke. What was that from? The cowboy way? It's like being with an old lady with no teeth, but a really strong jaw. Or something like, oh god, I am... Wow! What do you say? I've watched too many movies with penis jokes. I have... I feel like I'm... I can't take my teeth out, nor am I interested in doing such a thing. Yeah, you'd be eating on that prune and you're gonna be saying, oh god, would this change your mind? No, no. Mavis pops her false teeth out of her mouth and begins to lick. <laughs> oh, yuck! Whoa! History lesson, okay? I got out of high school. Got into college. First job I had at the age of 18 and a half, 19. I was a janitor at a bar. I came in after hours, so it was okay I was there under the age of 21. I've had that happen. I shit you not. She goes, and the teeth come out, and you're like, oh! And then she's like, biting with her gums and shit? Oh my god. I'm so, so sorry, Daniel. I know what you're going through, my man. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. <laughs> what a shame. Yes, yes. Such a shame. Oh, shut your worm trap, you useless gas bag. We're 28 minutes into recording. We have been in Daniel's house where he screwed up a potion and in the bar where we had a freak out from some dude in a robe and we played with the foreskin boat. Boat. Foreskin book. We got to meet the quiver dick and his wife... Ref oh god. I wa I I I you know what? This game just came out. Let's go a little bit longer. Let's go a little bit longer. We need to see what's we need some meat. This will continue the story. Do you want to leave now? We need some meat. God damn it, I just flicked my glasses. We need some meat. Let's go. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. See 26 minutes, and you know I intro and all that. Oh well. Let's have fun. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Filled with excitement, Daniel eagerly opens the book. Nice laugh. Daniel slams the book shut suddenly. Well, that was unsettling. Yeah, it laughed at you. Daniel tentatively opens the book once more. Wow! This thing is loaded with alchemic recipes I've never even heard of before. This is like a scientist's wet dream. Wet dream. Wrapped in the flesh of God knows who. But a wet dream nonetheless! <laughs> but nonetheless! This can't be real. Elixir of immortality? Pure happiness potion? The cure for herpes? That one so well. Oh yeah, old man Quiver would be first in line. Ha! By the gods. How to transmute pubic hair to gold. I need that one. I need that one. I've got at least a billion dollars hanging from my ass. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't need to, you didn't hear that. I've never been a fan of shaving, but a bitch just might start. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, time to get some shut eye. Yeah. You can turn your pubes into in the morning, I'll have to start experimenting. Can we make predictions right now? No, I've got nothing. This has been such an interesting start. Yeah, it's been a lot of story. No game, like, you know, have we fought anything? No. Have we done anything? No. Have we had fun? I have. Have you all had fun? I hope so. If you have, hit that thumbs up. Let's keep going. Daniel wakes up from his slumber with a long, slow stretch. I love the music, though. Like, I can... That was the best sleep I've ever had. God knows how long. I'm feeling pretty positive today. I should open up shop. Damn, I love this music. It's fire. It's good. It's hot. I'm so excited to get stuck in and start experimenting. OK, 
Okay, I need to stop dancing. I can feel my jiggles jiggling. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. Yeah, that's a little bit freaky deaky. I heard a door open. Who are you? You girl or you boy? I don't want to get all fluffy. Hello, Tim. How can I help you? It's a guy, so I'm glad I didn't get fluffy. Hey. Oh, well, you see, I'm, um, I'm looking for some cream. There's <laughs> a guy at the bar that'll help you get plenty. Ha! Oh, sure thing. What kind of cream do you need? Some to prevent itching in certain areas. He already got some cream from that guy, and that was bad. I understand. Okay. Areas such as... Areas that may or may not contain genitals. Okay. Did you sleep with another random you picked up at Dick's Bar, Tim? Actually, no. This is an ongoing issue from the last one. All right, how long have you had the itch? He's a, he's, he's not a doctor. Let's see. Uh, four months? Oh God. Tim, I know. I don't think it's going to get, oh, go away either. I think it's, don't show me. Herpes. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm awkward. Okay, well, Tim, I have got news for you. You're in luck. You've got the cream then? Even better. Better than cream? What could be better than cream? I've got the cure for herpes. Yeah, he's like, what? Wait, there is no cure for correction. There was no cure. Yep, he's skeptic. He's guy's like, are you serious, Daniel? I'm serious as a... Oh, I was just about to say that. As serious as a heart attack, my friend. Without the my friend part, because I'm a dick. I just got to look through my book and get the ingredients together. I'll let you know when I got it, when I get it cooked up. Until then, let me grab you some cream. You're a life savior. Savior. Saver. You could be a savior, too. That's probably fine. Daniel rummages through the shelves and pulls out a fat jar full of cream. Daniel hands the jar of cream to Tim, who eagerly grabs it and stuffs it in his pocket. Tim pulls a large coin pouch from his other pocket and places it in Daniel's hand. Keep the change, Daniel. There's more where that came from when you get that cure made. Ooh! $50! I got $50! Thank you a lot, Tim! I'll get working on it right away! You know it. Now I can get seven BJs! Yeah! Sounds like a plan. Oh, uh, do you mind if I... Oh! C go ahead, just do it in the corner or something. Oh, he's over there. Let's see. Cure for herpes. Cure for herpes. Where are you? Ah, here we are. Red candle wax. Interesting. But I've got it. Fresh goat blossom. Check. And liar's tongue. What the hell is that? Let's see if the book tells where I'm supposed to find whatever it is. Oh, fuck yeah. That's the spot. It rubs the lotion on the skin. And then the penis fills well again. All right, here we go. Liar's tongue. To obtain liar's tongue, one must cut the tongue from a liar's mouth immediately after they t have told a lie. <coughs> Excuse me, my folks. I've been going for a while. It's been a while since I've done a lot of talking in the game and breaking up a lot of them lung babies that you got that you cough up and they and they stick around. Lung babies, yeah. For if they have the opportunity to correct themselves and repent with the truth, then the liar's tongue will lose all properties and be rendered useless. Ah, that's fucking brutal! Where the hell am I going to get a liar's tongue? Seriously, I think I just came. That 
feel so much better. Dude's over there rubbing one out in the corner with his freaking herpy cream. Can you fucking not, please? <laughs> no, seriously, you have no idea how much better this feels. God damn it, Tim. <laughs> I love these games. These, yeah, these, uh, these people make games that I can just, I, I can, like, I can save the lives before they happen. I, oh, it's so great. Let's see if it gives any clues as to where I can find a liar's tongue. Make that dude tell a lie, cut out his tongue, make the thing, he'll cure the herpes. He won't have a tongue, but he also won't have the herp. You gotta cure the serious case of the herpiderps if you wanna get yourself feeling better. Hmm, it looks like there's a list of incantations of some sort right next to every ingredient listed in this book. Herpiderps. Oh, you guys are making such great games. I wonder what they do. Let's see here. Liar's tongue. Albios. Fontunde? Herpa Derpa Flur! <laughs> Woo! Oh, wait, now we're going into a freak out. What's going on now? Wow. WTF? Where the hell am I? This is not where I parked my wagon. No. Well, at least I still have the book. Perhaps I can find a liar's tongue somewhere around here. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Daniel closes the book and stuffs it into his satchel. We're free! Anything to click on? Well, obviously, this. A huge ancient tablet stands before Daniel. There are words engraved in stone, but it is too adequate and faded to make out. I'm, I'm doing what I do. I don't see anything of interest in this tree. Like, even he even interacted with the tree. I can see something at the top of the tree. I wonder. Daniel grips the trunk of the spindly tree with both hands and shakes it as hard as he can. What just hit me in the head? Nothing? Score. Ah, I got a juicy apple. Nice. There's nothing else in the tree. Thank you for telling me that. Don't really want to put my hand in a dusty dark hole, especially after that old lady's offer. Ha! Ho ho! Daniel shudders at the thought of Mavis moistening here comes at him. Okay, that is an image I won't get out of my head for a long time. Bonus XP. I just got bonus XP for having a flashback to uh, Spiders 2. Nope, not happening. Spider dwelling. I told you. I told you it was a spider dwelling. Let's go down. Are you ready to move on? Let's do this. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. We're going to call it quits soon. Probably the next save. But I personally want to get my dirty little fat hands on some combat. And I know it's going to have some combat. Wherever I am, none of this looks even remotely familiar. Uh-oh. Well, well, well. What do we have here? What's up, douche? Larry Moses. Looks like a poor, unfortunate soul in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm digging the music. Come on, guys. I don't want any trouble. I'll turn around and get out of here. You'll never see me again. No one will ever see you again. Oh, curls. I call dibs on his shoes. I want his pants. Uh-oh. All right, you two. No funny business this time. Keep your weapons to yourself. You hear? You got it, boss. I'll fight this fella. This fella perfectly. My noggin still hurts from the last guy we robbed, and he didn't even put up a fight. Holy crap! And occasionally stuns them. Something tells me that I should just open up with AoE and stun power, so let's do it. Ah, yeah! Bottle of lightning! You've been thunderstruck! Wait, what the shit? Like they're beating the hell out of each other. Archery, arrow barrage. Wait, that takes TP. I got TP. Apply Alchemist Poison to the tips of your arrows and fire them to inflict venom upon your foes. Whoa. <laughs> that was good. 
that one struck the, like, the... I almost coughed myself into a goddamn heart attack. Woo! Nah, let's stick with this. Let's, let's go for stuns. That was good. That was good. I... Gotta fire... You know, you gotta abuse that slow class. Holy crap, that hurts. Well, that wasn't expected. Let's see what this does. Let's see what minor amount entails. 160. That is really damn minor. Yeah! Okay, let them beat themselves up. Okay. I'll admit, this first fight, for this being the first fight, this is pretty, um... Because why fire one arrow when you can fire four? Fair enough. Oh! A wise guy, eh? You're damn right. Just don't take, just don't take one to the knee, or, or I didn't get to read it. I love reading the things that I'm just, I'm failing. This is, what does a juicy apple do? Okay, we're gonna save that. We're gonna go over here to Crude Remedy, and that's what mana's gonna be used for mostly. Hopefully I can just focus on TP. Yeah, okay, we're dependent on that person in the back. That person in the back needs to keep on top of helping me. God, for the first fight, this is intense. This is what we wanted. So after this fight, I could probably wrap up today's story because it's pretty much been a lot of story. And then next time, there might be a little bit more guts to it. Just the tip. Just the tip. All right. Um, let's take out curls, man. We got to get rid of one. Then I'll start the poison. That shot was perfect. He's almost dead. He's gotta be almost dead. Ow. Ow. Fucking ow! I'm taking a rip. So I do you. Well, this certainly didn't go as planned. Nyah, nyah, nyah. <laughs> nyah, nyah, nyah. Just don't take one of me or your adventuring days are over. I got to read it. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting beat up by a bunch of stooges. Yeah! Yeah! At least for the next two turns, I'm gonna heal. Play smart. I would love to use my AoE and stun these bitches, but I don't think I can. I don't think that's an option, because they're just kicking my ass. Whew. Everything's still recording? I didn't even think about that. Hell yeah, 43 minutes in, we've been going hard. Archery, arrow barrage. You know what? Yeah, let's arrow barrage that back one. Boo yeah! Why Ayana? What's the matter with ya? Oh, what the hell's the matter with you? Bitch! Ow! God, this is He aimed to carve you a new asshole. I just read that. How's the backwards to do? We're almost dead. Do it. I got plenty of TP. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, you're an intelligent imbecile. What? An intelligent... Whatever. Alchemy. Crude remedy. And next we're going to do the just tip. Stick the tip in them. You know? Just the tip. J just, just the tip. Shit. It takes MP. Looks like I'm not sticking the tip in. We're going for all four shafts. Shaft him four times so far. What's the big idea? You suck. That's what the big idea is. He tried to attack himself. Point proven. I think we're good. I think we're gonna win. If he keeps attacking himself, especially because, well, I can't charge much TP, but at least he's not hurting me. Oh, dick. Arrow barrage! Stop it! That hurts! Well, maybe you shouldn't have messed with me. Just saying. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Attack yourself. Yes! Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. I didn't want to use any eye. Oh, shit. Don't miss! Don't miss! Yeah! 
You sure know how to hurt a guy. You know it, guy. Yeah, quit being such a dude there, buddy friend. Level up. What do we gain? We gain 100 health. That's pretty tasty. We gain 50 MP. That's pretty schnazzy. And 333352. Three, 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 well, what's the five? Agility? Five agility. Daniel, quick, quick little bugger. Got a blade. Look at all this stuff! We did good. We did good! By the gods, what dire situation have I got myself into? I need to find a way out of here. But on the bright side, I got some supplies, a couple of coins, and this keen blade. Let's take a look, shall we? So what, I can't equip it? Well, that's dumb. Who gets the blade? It's, oh, it's a key item. Am I gonna get to cut somebody's pee pee off? Oh, I wanna cut a pee pee off. Okay, let's walk around just a little bit more. No, 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 no way. Oh, hey, what's this? You shoved your, huh, fairy cat mushroom. This will surely come in handy. No, say, okay. Let's take a little, let's take a little walk down memory lane to a most, one of my more recent adventures. I believe it was Quiverdick 2, actually. No, the first Quiverdick. Yeah, the first Quiverdick. Yeah. Murgle Burgle, Murgle Burgle. He was chilling here, but there's no Murgle Burgle. That'd be funny if this was like after he came through and killed him, huh? Old man Quiver, Richard Longschlong. That'd be so clever. I would I would think that would be cool. I don't see anything of interest in this tree. Okay. My brain is like combining so many games. You guys are awesome. Daniel coughs and sputters. A pungent stench from unknown sources hangs in the air. It stings Daniel's nostrils and catches in the back of his throat. Oh, what is this smell? It's like a sick animal pissed itself and then died. And then pissed itself again. Okay, gave me movement again. I kind of like that little warning. There's, there, there is a cave over here. Thaticus! It's a puppy. Daniel reaches his hand out to pet the dog, but recoils quickly. There's a distinct smell of urine in the air. Poor dog, sitting in a puddle of his own urine. Who said that was my urine? Oh god, it's talking! Did you just assume my urine scent? Uh, uh... No, I just hadn't considered the idea that a dog would be sitting in another dog's urine. Oh, so this is dog urine then. You're such an expert on urine that you know exactly what species created it just from a whiff. You know who it came from because you are that good, I guess. Are you being a dick? What? No. What the fuck? What is going on right now? Yeah, we're arguing with a dog. I don't know, you tell me. You're the fucking expert. <laughs> Fine. Whose urine is it then? It's mine. <laughs> you fucking dog. <laughs> God damn it. I have a bladder problem, okay? I think I might have some kind of infection or growth or something. The dog leans back and stretches out the skin of his genitals, revealing an unearthly assortment of pulsing boils and oozing sores. Ow! I. We're staring at a dog's dink. That is not okay. What the hell is that? I don't know, but it does not feel good. <laughs> I, I'm the penis, I'm supposed to be the penis joke guy and this game is covering it for me. Actually, they're uncovering it, but you get what I'm saying. Like, seriously, what is that? I've never seen anything like it. It's all blue and black and red and yellow and white. Oh, that thing is colorful. It's like all the colors of a diseased rainbow. It's like the rainbow of frickin' herpaderp. Um, it's like if a rainbow stopped being cheerful and got addicted to meth. Um, <laughs> okay, the dog stretches out the skin around his genitals and licks it. I mean, it's not that bad. Oh, no, it, it is. It really is. Oh my god. It's as if you had a tribe of genital crabs that lived on your nutsack. And one day they found out there was a tribe of genital lobsters around the corner. And the, but the genital crabs didn't want to share with the general 
genital lobsters, they went to war, slaughtering and destroying each other and everything around. The war resulted in the death of both communities, and no one ever cleaned up the bodies. So they decayed and festered into a rancid, diseased mass. On your dick! Thank you, dog! You have a very vivid imagination there, Daniel. You do. And... What are those white things wiggling around under your foreskin? Are those... Maggots eating other maggots? Do they even do that? That's just... I don't know what those are, actually. I didn't even notice those were there. And why is it so gnarled and crooked? Like, we've been talking about this dog's dick for like a hot three minutes. It looks like a bloody wound you got from fucking infected cactus. And it's just never... <laughs> I'm so happy there's a maturity thing on, on, on YouTube. Woo! This is, this is, this is, woo! Wow. But why? Why would you do something like that? I've got a better question. Why would I not do something like that? Eh? Gotcha there. Well, mostly because that's how you end up with a murdered scene all over your cock. They could write a horror story about that dick. That is the cock of a mad scientist. That is a Franken dick if I've ever seen. <laughs> a Franken dick. Uh oh, somebody called him. Oh shit, dinner time. I got to go. Thanks for the diagnosis on my Franken dick, Doc. Deuces. Like, seriously? I am totally bewildered right now, hey? Oh my god. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wrap up today's video. Next save, it's over. Next save, oh god, this is insane. Score! What? 50 gold? Nice. A potion? Nice, sir. I emptied this box, there's nothing left inside. That's what she said. I don't see anything of interest in this tree. I can't, just, wait, wait. Daniel moves closer to the flower on the forest floor to examine it. A fat round bee twitches in its tiny wings as it twitches its tiny wings as it crawls into a flower petal. Aw, oh, poor little fella. You look like he's seen better days. Yeah, you can say that again, buddy. I'm talking to the... I'm talking... Wait. I was just minding my own business, catching some Z's in this here flower, and some dumb mutt came over and pissed all over me. Did you just talk? Who? Who? Me? Nah, not at all. Mm. You just imagine that you're talking to a bee that just got doused and pissed by a dog that needs to see a fucking doctor. Yeah, yeah, yep, nope, he just talked, yep, that, that old crooked dick dog over there, oh god. I'm serious though, if you saw what I saw, yeah, no, we've seen it. I'm telling you, that dog's dick did not look right. No. I got an image in my head. That thing was big and vain. Ew! Oh! And it had all these sores on it. Oh, come on, here we go again about the dick! They were all losing it. And the tip had all this crusty shit caked on top. It was a mess. I don't think I will ever be able to look at cake in the same way again. I mean, it was almost impressive just how nasty this big dog dick was. I'm telling you, buddy, it was a disaster piece. What the? I'm okay. Please stop. I'm okay. And out of all the flowers in the fucking forest, this bastard decided to piss on the one I was sleeping in. Just my luck, right? I Man, I feel bad for that bee. I'm so sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do to help you, or...? No. Like I said, I'm just a figment of your imagination. What? A puff of smoke surrounds the flowers. The bee vanishes into thin air. Completely erased from existence. Yeah, where the hell am I? And why did I think this book was a good idea? No shit! There is nothing in this flower but blobs of yellow. Something. A thick, milky yellow gunk covers the tree trunk. Ew! Daniel gags and holds his arm over his face in an attempt to evade the stench. Holy fuck, that is vile. Is that urine? Let us hope. Okay, should we? There's nothing in this flower but blobs of... Oh, okay. Um, I, you know, I look at everything. Let's go in this cave and see if it gives us a save. I wonder what's in here. I'm not sure I'm ready to find out, but I don't see any other option. Are you ready to enter the cave? Let's do this. Would you like to save your prayer? Yes, and we'll call it quits here. We'll save the mystery of the cave for next time.
Damn Daniel by Red Mouse Games. I hope y'all are enjoying. This game is extremely, extremely extreme. And I like it. I love it. I can't see any way around not enjoying this game. But the combat has been very tough, but good. We only had one fight, but I know there's going to be more. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed, Damn Daniel. I will be back again real soon with more. Check it out for yourselves. I'm sure it's going to be a nice long adventure. It's on sale right now as this video is out for, I think, a week. So, check it out. Show some support. I think it's worth it. It's got great humor. A little bit intense about talking about the dog dick, but you know what? That's life. If you ain't talking about a dog dick, then what are you talking about? P probably normal stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again real soon with more, but until then... You all take care. Peace.